guys happy Monday so um, let's open up this vlog and I'll tell you what I'm reading so I am listening to Crescent City on audiobook I haven't really had much of a chance to listen to it lately but I am really enjoying it and it it's helped me get into it a little bit more listen to it on audiobook um, so I'm about 57 pages in, only five chapters but really enjoying it um, and my physical read, I'm not really re really reading anything physically right now. I decided to put down that other romance book because it just what wasn't my speed right now. Um, so I'm not really reading a whole lot right now, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Um, it's been kind of a long, long week with starting work last week and then the uh, last weekend, Saturday um, and Sunday, we went took the boys to the truck show in Bismarck and um, we stayed overnight and hung out with some family and stuff so um, we did that so it's just been a crazy weekend so I'm finally having time to actually sit down and film something um, so I do want to show you guys some bookish mail that I got um, the first item I actually got it last weekend I want to say maybe like Thursday or Friday um, but it's from Bookish Signs and More, and she did like a pre-order for this. It's the Night Court symbol. It's like, um, I don't know if it's metal, but it's kind of like a, a brushed aluminum plaque almost. And I did get the purple one because Night Court and purple just seem to go together best. So I did get the purple one because I liked it the best. Um, and I think they did black. I don't know if she's selling any more of these um, or not, but... I'm really glad that I was able to get one when I could. Um, now I just need to get like one of those little plate holders and I want to put it up by my Akatar book set. And it also came with this cute bookmark. And it says, let's go rattle the stars. So that's what I got from Bookish Signs. I think I got that like Friday or something like that, like last Friday. Um, so the next thing is another pin. I am so excited about this because it's from a new company that I just kind of discovered. Um, it's called Rebel Art. They gave me one of their um, logo stickers, which I do love. Um, and my computer just started up, just so you know. Um, and I found them on Instagram and they had this one pin that I really, really love. And it, they just came back in stock, so I'm like, I'm going to place an order. And then I also got ordered two stickers while I was on there because they were adorable and I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend, but the stickers weren't too expensive. So I decided to get, get them. So the first one is BB-8, Hand in a Flower. Isn't that cute? I just thought it was adorable. I love BB-8. And then the other one, this one, I just love so much. It's Baymax in a Cup of Hot Cocoa. So stinking cute. I love Baymax. I just think he's such a cute character. Um, and then the pin I got. I love it. There's so many details to this. It's Baby Yoda. He's in the Mandalorian's face helmet, mask, whatever it is. And then he's also wearing a little necklace. I think the necklace is from that um, one creature that always say, I have spoken. I can't remember his name though. Um, I think that's what the necklace is from, but I can't remember. Um, but it says this is the way and that's like the Mandalorian's motto. Um, so cute. I really love this one. There's so much detail to him. He's so freaking cute. Um, I do need, <laughs> this is my, my pin board with all my baby Yoda pins and it's full. So this one won't fit anywhere on here. So I do need to make a new pin board for it um which is okay i mean that's fine so i think when i make a new pin board i'm gonna actually take all my baby yoda pins off of this one and uh, make a whole pin board just for baby yoda because because i can why not and then the other thing is i decided to order these from bookish signs and more the same place i got the uh plaque from I got Aurora Ryzen and Aurora Burnin. Um, they were selling these. They come with the sprayed edges. Um, 
you had to buy you had to buy like both of them I really I missed the pre-order when they did just this one um, but I missed the pre-order and so they had extras so they were selling them together so you had to buy both of them um, which is fine I can always give one to Becca or something um, but I because I do have a horizon with pink spread pages um, but this time I ordered it with the purple and then I really I did it because I wanted this one to match and I wanted it with the orange spray pages to match the cover and I think it's gorgeous so if they do it for the third one I'll probably pre-order it right away um, it did come with a signed book plate thankfully and then it actually came because I also miss pre-ordering it so it actually came with a pre-order incentive the sticker sheet and I'm so freaking excited because I see like all the people like talking about this and I'm like oh I missed the pre-order thing and I was so sad um, so this was a nice surprise I didn't know if I would get this um, but but yeah I got it and it's all the characters from the book um, and it even has Saidi down here uh, Cal's sister so yeah it's so cool I love it I love it so I was really excited to to find that in the box but I ordered these I'm glad I have them so I'll probably ask Becca if she wants the other copy I have or this copy I have one with the pink sprayed pages which I like um, but if Becca wants one I probably give her the purple because pink is just my favorite color and I just love it um, and then I have just a regular copy of Aurora Burnin, so if she wants that, she could have that one too. But we'll see. Um, so that's what I got in the mail. Um, I haven't really been doing a whole lot today. I talked to my mom this morning, and then I just kind of been a lazy day around the house. Um, but I did make... So uh, when I ordered my spoon flower material... For like those um, Hunger Games and like Illuminate pin boards, I ordered some other material, and this was one of them. And it's a Psych material. Um, if you haven't watched the show Psych, you really should. It's hilarious. It's like one of my favorite shows. I can watch them over and over again and never get tired of them. They're so freaking good. They just came out with a Psych. Uh, movie to the the second psych movie so I'm super excited to watch that so I made these today and then I made three of them because I had just enough material I had to put black on the back and just do the the psych material on the front um, I was able to get three of them made so I will probably give two of them to Becca because me and Becca love psych um, so I'll probably give two of them, them to her because she needs some pillows for her couch. And I'll probably just keep one for myself because I have so many pillows. <laughs> but I just love how they turned out. And I love like all the sayings on it from the psych movie or show. Oh, it's so good. And the pineapples. You have to watch the show to understand about the pineapples. Um, there's always a pineapple hidden in every episode. Um, so sometimes it's blatantly obvious, other times it's like in the background and you have to find it. Um, but yeah, it's, there's something about the pineapples, but you have to watch them to find out. Um, so yeah, I made three pillows today, which I'm really glad how they turned out. They turned out really nice. I made them firmer because when you start laying on them, this fat or this stuffing will flatten out a little bit. So I stuffed them pretty firm, but but anyway, so that's what I did today. I do have a video that I need to put up that's already been done and edited. I was going to get it up last week, but when I started work, it just didn't work out. So I'm going to try to get it up, um, get it up today. I'm going to work on that right now. And then I'm going to, uh, wait until Becca comes, figure out what I'm going to make for supper. I'm thinking maybe spaghetti because that sounds good. Um, and then, uh, do that and hang out with Becca tonight. And we're going to watch the psych, the new psych movie. 
Um, I am super excited about it. Um, I can't wait. It's on that new platform by NBC. It's pe called Peacock. Um, so it's supposed to be free. So I did did sign up for it. I didn't have to put in a credit card, so that was kind of nice. Um, so we're going to see if I can play it on the TV. I'm super excited to watch it. I can't wait. It's going to be a grand old time. I've seen every single psych, psych episode, including the musical and the movie. Like, I've seen them all. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, it's going to be a fun night. But I think that's all I have to really update you guys on. So I'm probably going to go and get some videos up uploaded and get some stuff done before Becca gets here. So I will check in with you guys later. Bye guys. Hey guys, happy, what is today? Tuesday? Check out these ears. I am in love with them. I just unboxed Enchanted Fandoms. They're so freaking cute. I really like them. They're really adorable. Anyways, so I'm gonna wear them while I'm doing this blog post. Um. So anyways, we just got back from Dixon and just as I pulled into the driveway, the family was there dropping off my packages. So I already um, unboxed Enchanted Phantom. So now I'm moving on to these two packages and I believe they are pin mail, which you guys know how I feel about pins. I adore pins. So as soon as I clean up my office, I'm gonna start filming some videos. I really need to clean up my office. Okay, that was a bust. They opened the open thingy, but it's like sealed past the open thingy. Okay, hang on. Get me some scissors because it's being difficult. Anyway, so I ran up to Dixon real quick. Chiropractor appointments, and then um, I did stop at the grocery store. Just kind of stock up on a few items um, because while I was up there, I figured I might as well. Um... I, I do like shopping local, but I hate shopping local when they up the prices. And our local grocery store is notorious for that. Um, they will double or triple their prices just because they are the only grocery store in town. And I really hate it. So if I do go to Dixon, I always try to do groceries while I'm up there because they are cheaper. And if I'm already making a trip up, it's not gonna be much of a difference. Um, so yeah, unfortunately my grocery store likes to do that. So I did do groceries while I was in town um, because I needed a few things and it's cheaper up there. But let's get into this. Okay, so this is Laser Brain Patch Company. I do love Laser Brain Patch Company. Or Lapels and Spells is like their pin brand. Lapels and Spells and Laser Brain Patch. Okay, so they always add some little extra things. This is like a little sheet that like you can color. It's like of some pin designs. You could color them. And then this is cute. Laser Brain Patch Company Monthly Club, June 9th. June 2019 is beautiful insects um, so you could get um, they have a pin club that you can do every month so I think this is my order from the nope it's cute. I didn't see it go, go play okay so this is my pin order so okay so I got three pins the first one is a baby Yoda pin but like his hand moves like you know the scene where he like hits the bag when baby Yoda's awake Boop. this one like the arm is really loose on it but there it is the stormtrooper <laughs> hitting poor baby Yoda I just thought it was kind of neat so I got that one and then I got this one because it's Ray and Kylo Ren because I love them together. They're perfect. And then I got another Harry Potter pin. I wanted to get the teacups, but they didn't have any of the teacups in stock. 
Um, but this one is Hagrid and uh, Harry on the, his motorbike. And there's Hogwarts behind it. Um, this is really pretty. It's hard to really get it. It's not focusing. Focus. Focus. It's not going to focus. Sorry, guys. But I love it. Then I got some pins from Bibliophile Prints. All right. I did place an order with Bibliophile Prints because they were having like a, a second sale. And so some of these pins were $5 and I was super excited because I really wanted to get them, but they were kind of a little bit spendy for, for myself. But uh, so the first one I got is Olaf and it's got the outline of Elsa and then it says Samantha. And it's kind of got like the um, snowflake design. And then it's got Gale. If you look very closely, it's got Gale. Oh, it's so cute. Um, so that is the first one I got. I don't really see. Oh, there is kind of a little bit of a scratch on it, but that's okay. You can't hardly tell. Then I got this one. This one is more obvious, but it's okay. So this is... Ariel and Magi Carpy. It's like a Ariel, uh, like a um, Little Mermaid and Pokemon crossover. I just thought it was cute. It was five dollars. So, and then I got this one. Bell read into Cogsworth and Illuminae. Illuminae. Illumi Lumiere. So there's that one. Oh, the couch cushions are all roses. Oh, that's kind of neat. I think it's a little busy design though for the pin. So you kind of like lose some of the, I don't know. I mean, it's still a cute pin. And then I got Rapunzel reading to Pascal. This one's super cute. I really like that one. I love Pascal. It's like one of my favorite. And then I got a bag, a mystery bag. Is that it? Okay. Some, it looks like some little stickers. I do love little stickers, so. A uh, little thank you card. Um, Something about eco-friendly. There's her business card. And I will link her down below. She does have a Society6 in a red bubble page. Um, and then a bookmark. In that moment, I swear we were infinite. Perks of being a wallflower. It's a really pretty bookmark. And she does these like 7 of 12 women edition ones. So that's what I got in the mail today. So, anyways, um, I don't really have much plans for today. I have such a sore neck, so I I don't know what I'm going to, if I'm going to just lay down and rest, or if I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to probably make a new pin hoop for my Baby Yoda pins, because I, I do have quite a few Baby Yoda pins now. So, I'll probably make... Um, a pin hoop for those but um, I don't know what else I'm gonna do I do have to work tomorrow early morning so so yeah I got to get some I got to get to bed at a decent time tonight because I have to get up at 4 30 in the morning to be there by well I have to be there by 5 30 so depending on if I get a shower tonight will depend on if I have to get up super early we'll see but anyways that's kind of all I have to update you guys on right now. Oh, I did want to mention that I finally got a hold of somebody at Cricut and I am getting a replacement machine. Um, I contacted them through email and it took about, it took a few days and they even stated that they were behind so it may take a few days. 
Um, so it did take a few days for them to get to me, but then um, they asked me to record a video and tell them what the problem was. So I did that and I sent it in and they sent it over to their technicians and um, found out that I could get a replacement machine. So I am going to be getting a new machine, which I'm so excited. I miss being able to use my Cricut. Um, but I'm going to get a new machine and, um, the only bad thing is, which I'm really sad about is they don't have the raspberry color. So I have to get a different color. So I'm a little sad about that, but that's okay. As long as I have a working machine, I honestly don't care what color it is. Um, so, so yeah, I just want to let you know that I am going to be getting a new Cricut sent to me. So I'm really excited and I can't wait for it to get here. But that is all I have. So I am going to go now and I am going to do something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyways, I'm going to go and I will probably check in with, with you guys later, tomorrow or something like that. See you guys. Hey guys. So it's kind of late at night. I had to work tonight, so I'm really tired, but I have a package from Oh My Goodness Pins, and I'm so excited. These are some pre-order ones that I've done. They're so pretty. I love their pins. They have some of the cutest pins, and the nice thing about them, they are native North Dakotans. Um, so it's a North Dakota company, which I feel like I'm supporting the local companies, but, oh, they're so pretty. So this one is the first one, and it says, don't mess with mama. And it's Molly Weasley. So cute. I love it. Um, and then this one oh, this is so pretty. It's a cowgirl, and it says, give them hell. I love like western style stuff so that's adorable and then this one is so stinking cute it is a bison with four roller skates on his feet that is so stinking cute so those are the pins I got like I said I had pre-ordered these um, but I believe she has extras in her shop so you should go check them out they make some of the cutest pins. Like, I am so excited. They're coming out with 90 themed Harry Potter pins. And they look so stinking cute. And I want them all. So, yeah. I I definitely want those. Um, but, yeah. They have some of the cutest pins. I love them. Um, definitely check them out. I will link them down below. But, anyways. I... I am exhausted. So I'm going to go. I'm going to take my pills. And then I'm going to bed. Because I'm tired. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much all that happened. I worked today. And that's about it. But anyways. Ouch. That was my knee that popped. Anyways. Um. I will check in with you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Happy Friday. So, I am not really in the greatest moods right now. I don't know why. I'm just in a funk today. I can't explain it. I'm, like, between annoyed and angry, and I don't know why. And it's just... Kids are driving me crazy. Hmm. I'm just trying to take a breath. Anyway, so, today hasn't really been very eventful um my husband surprised me and he got me this really pretty necklace he um his nickname for me is angel so he got me that and then he got me a little bracelet to go along with it so pretty they're like those uh crystals so they're not like real or anything like that but they're beautiful i love them um but yeah he surprised surprised me with them today I didn't even know like he told me the other day that there was something coming in the mail for me and I was like oh what is it and he wouldn't tell me he said it's just a surprise and then today I was just kind of cleaning and stuff and completely forgot about it 
and then he called me and he asked me to pick him up tonight because he wants to keep his welding truck up there so if he got welding work he has the truck uh, up there with him but he needs an everyday driver because there's a lot of equipment on his welding truck so it's not really a good everyday driver so he needed something that would be good driving back and forth to work so um so he asked me to pick him up so he can pick up one of his other pickups and take up with him this weekend so i'm going up there and so i was like well i was just originally going to just throw on some clothes real quick and put a hat on my head and just go but then he surprised me with these and i'm like oh i better get dressed and I actually feel like i should wear and like have a proper outfit to wear these with but anyways um so that's probably all that's gonna happen today um i've just been cleaning and stuff i have a little bit of cleaning left to do in the living room um i just need a break right now so but i got some book of chamele and I really want to show you guys. Um, so I'm going to show you um, this adorable little mandrake bin. It's a Bloomin' Mandrake. Okay, so Ink and Wonder is now Mandrake of the Month. And they do a, uh, a Mandrake of the Month club. And each month they do a different one. And I can't remember if this one was May or April's. I don't know. But I think it's adorable. And it goes in the dark. So... Um, and then I also got two of these really cool postcards. Um, these are like postcard shelves and this one is like 90 themed and it's so, it's so nostalgia for me. Like Furby, Game, uh, Game Boy, you know, the, the headphones and the CD player, the slinky. Oh, and even has like like little uh sands or no scrubs a dating guide <laughs> i love that song that's such a good song um a troll a poly pocket oh i didn't even see that there and magic eight ball a tamagotchi a tamagashi Tama tamagashi i don't know whatever that thing is and then a lava lamp I think it's so cute. I probably will not use this as a postcard. I'm thinking of putting it on my bulletin board. I just love it. And then I did get the Hufflepuff one then too, because I thought it was really pretty. And I figured, well, if I'm getting that pin, might as well get some postcards to go with it. So I got that today. But I also got more scrunchies. Okay, I'm obsessed with scrunchies. I'm so glad this came back because I used to love scrunchies back then when I was a kid. So, Fable Bands is my new obsession. If you guys haven't seen Fable Bands, you really should go and get them because they are my new obsession. I love their scrunchies. So, I ordered more. And these ones I just ordered just the scrunchies. I do have a few of the headbands. They're not really my favorite and I can't really get them to look right on my head because I have such such a weird head. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, um, but I bought some scrunchies and I love them. I love scrunchies. So this is the first one I got and I think this one is, uh, yeah, this one's the Charlotte Bronte one. And it's got like a quote on there. I just thought it was really pretty for like spring. Just perfect. And then this one. I love this one. Books and coffee. Because that's me. Wrapped up in like two words. Books and coffee. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's got these like fun coffee cups on it. And then like book stacks. I love it. So stinking cute. Then this one is reading glasses, which is adorable because I do wear glasses. Then this one is, what is this one? Uh, good Friends, I think it's called. Yeah, Good Friends. I can't really read the material, but I thought it was really pretty and simple. And then this one is book stacks, and it's just a stack of books all the way around. So those are my new scrunchies and I'm so glad. I love scrunchies. I'm so going to wear one today. Like, I just love wearing them. Like, I wear them. I wear one everywhere I go. So 
Um, and then I got a little stand, which I am excited for. I ordered these off of Amazon, but I wanted to get a stand, and I don't know if this is going to work, so we're going to find out. For, oh, perfect. Now I can put it on my bookshelf. So, there's that. Um, so, anyways, that's really all my book mail today. Um, that's really what's going on today. Like I said, I'm just, I don't know what, I can't explain it. I'm just in a weird mood. I'm really tired. <sighs> so, it's just, it's a day. When I'm done. Okay. Um. But anyways, I think that's all I've really got to update you on. So, so I'm going to probably go. And I will check in with you guys later. Bye, guys. Hey, everyone. Happy Monday. So I just wanted to um, check in and let you know what things what what things I've been doing, <sighs> which isn't a lot. Um, we went to Dixon today, and... Um, we went to the chiropractor and then we went to the grocery store. Um, I got some, I wanted to get some fresh fruits because they're cheaper up there than going to the store here. It's just so much cheaper up there. So I wanted to get some like oranges and apples and pineapples and make some juice. Um, because today I've kind of been not feeling the greatest. I got like um, some, like I got a sinus headache and like a lot of sinus pressure. And like a runny nose and then I got a, got a sore throat today so I'm not feeling the greatest right now so I want to get some Ooh, excuse me. so I want to get some like extra vitamins and stuff in me and my oldest has been struggling with alle allergies for like the last couple of days too so it's just been really miserable here it's been like today it's really really hot it's like 90 some degrees you walk out and you like instantly sweat <laughs> um so it's just been really like dry and humid and stuff so like allergies have been crazy um so yeah so we're struggling today especially me i am so tired and my head hurts so bad but I have to wait to take any more medicine, so I have to fight through it. Um, on a happy note, Becca is coming over. I got Chinese food for us tonight, and I'm so excited. I love Chinese food. And she's going to come over, and we're going to hang out for a little bit. Um, maybe watch some Veronica Mars. Gosh, I love that show. So good. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we'll watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Who knows? But I did get some bookish mail today. Well, I got some pin mail today. Um, so I... What, honey? I'm going to play this game. Play what game? This. Oh, do you need help? Yeah. Here, let me see it. I'm not going to... You have chocolate face from the Oreos. Oh, no, it's dead. I got to charge it. I'll put it on the charger in a minute, okay? You what? just go play. Why this? Pork. Pork? Oh, excuse me. Boy. Yep, you go play. Is it long? Yeah. All right, go play. Anyways, so um, I got some pin mail today, and I ordered these from Fandom Flare uh, pins, and I don't know if I've ever ordered from the, these this company I know I've been watching like their pins and stuff and they're really really cute pins um, but she was end up having like um, her pet end up having to go to like the emergency vet so she was doing like a sale to help pay for the bills so I was like well <sighs> animals have like a soft spot so I'm like I'm going to get some pins so I did order three and they were 20% off um, they was only three that I really really wanted um, the first one is a Harry Potter pin. Oh. It is a flying key, and it's kind of like got like white glitter enamel in there. It's really pretty. Um, so I do really like that one. And then the other two are actually, speaking of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the other two are Brooklyn Nine-Nine uh, inspired pins. The first one is Terry Loves Yogurt. <sighs> I love this. It's so freaking cute. And then the other one is 
title of your sex tape, Jake Rata, the Nine Nine. Uh, I love that it's like a v VHS. Oh, so anyways, um, so yeah, that's the mail I got today. Um, I don't. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to really tell you. I did get my hippo hippogriff um, drinking vessel from Change of Family today. I wasn't sure if that was going to come today because, like, everybody was receiving theirs, but I never got, like, anything that said that it was coming. Like, not even my UPS um, informed delivery thing. That I never even got a text message that it was coming, so I didn't even know it was coming. And I t contact Jess, and she said it was out for delivery, and I was like, "Oh, okay." So, so I don't know what happened there. A fluke in the system, I guess. Um, but anyways, I think that's all I have for you guys. I'm really tired, and I just don't really feel good. So I'm going to probably sit and do some more editing. I did some editing this morning before I left. Um, I have a little bit more to do. Um, I'm really behind on editing. So I want to try to get some of that done before Becca comes over. She'll be coming over maybe like 45 minutes. I don't even know what time it is. Um, so I want to do some of that before she comes over. Yeah, about an hour. She'll be over here. Um, so I'll probably do that. Oh, did I miss it? Hang on one second. Um, so I'll probably do that. And um, the picture fell down. The picture fell down. It. Okay, just just leave it there. I'll take care of it. But you can't do it. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Just leave it there. Just leave it right there. Yeah, just leave it right there. Um, but anyways, that's really all that's going on. So I think I'm going to go and rest and do some editing before Becca comes over. So I will probably check with you guys tomorrow. See you guys. Hey guys, happy Thursday. So I don't even know if I checked in today at all. I just got, well, I didn't really just get done. I got done with work probably about two hours ago, but I just i finally got off the phone um so i wanted to do a quick check-in before i went to bed um the kiddos are sleeping they're well they're to bed already but i got some bookish mail today um before i show you that i finally got this it's the harry potter goblet of fire hufflepuff edition i ordered this and like it got shipped funny and then it kept saying that it was ready for pickup and it was in Bismarck and I'm like, I am not going to Bismarck to pick up a book that's supposed to come to my house. And then all of a sudden it was like here. So I have no idea what's going on. <sighs> but got that today. Um, so I'm glad it's fine here. It is a little... Like, the dust jacket got a little bent up, but I'm not mad. So, the other thing is pin mail. I found a new pin company, and I ordered some pins. I did want to get some other ones that they had, but I had to limit myself to a certain amount. So, I'm trying to get better. Um, but this is a new company. It's called Angel Animations animations i think that's what it's called i have no idea but look it's thomas and audrey rose i love them they're so cute um they're on etsy i will link them down below so the reasons why i got these is because rosebud reads um emily from rosebud reads she uh, did an unboxing for them and they were so pretty I may have went and ordered them right away. But look how pretty. It says his dark flower and her dark prince. 
And these are Stock and Jack the Ripper themed ones too. I love them. They're so pretty. So, yeah, I ordered them. I'm so glad I have them. So they're going on my Stock and Jack the Ripper pin board. Um, but anyways, I had an okay day at work. I'm really tired. I had one really rude asshole customer. So I was mopping the floor and it was really like right in the front. He comes in the door and instead of going to the other side of the store that hasn't been mopped yet, he comes and walks right behind me on my freshly mopped floor all the way into the back down each aisle and he had the funniest shoes ever so then I had to remop everything I was pissed oh irritating it's like just you see me mopping just be decent about it like go the other direction you can still get to the pop cooler, go in the opposite direction, but no, we have to mop, walk on our ni my nicely mopped floor. Anyway, <sighs> sorry, some people would just be so rude. Anyways, we ran over. Other than that, there are yard sales this weekend. I'm super excited. I am going to go to bed. I'm going to get some rest because tomorrow morning I'm going to mow the lawn. I've been needing to mow the lawn. For a couple weeks now. So I'm going to do that tomorrow morning. Do a little cleaning. And then there are yard sales in the evening. And I'm so excited. And then there's yard sales Saturday morning as well. Some yard sales are Friday night and Saturday morning. Um, they're doing their city wides. I'm so excited that they're actually going to do it. Um, it's weird though that it's on fair weekend. So usually they have the city wide yard sales door uh in the end of may beginning of june but they postponed them because of covid um but they finally decided to do them and of course they did it the weekend of the fair they have the fair and the rodeo and stuff going on this weekend too so but i am really excited to Go to yard sales. I got a list going of things I have to look for. Um, so, so yeah, should be a fun weekend. And then Saturday, taking the boys to the monster truck show. They're gonna be so excited. They have no idea. We'll probably surprise them. Um, so they have no idea they're going. Um, but I'm really excited for them. I know they're going to have a blast. Especially Owen. He loves monster trucks. It's going to be fun. But anyways, I'm going to go for our chat all night. I'm going to go and get some rest so I can be a like, happy, happy person tomorrow. Anyways, um, I will check with you guys later. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. So, I want to quickly... Up on here give you guys a little bit of an update um so it's been kind of a busy day this morning i went out and mowed the lawn right away which i'm really glad because it started raining so i'm really glad that i was able to get the lawn mowed before it started raining and stuff because i went out early this morning and whew, it did get hot today but then it rained and kind of cooled it off a little bit um but I did that this morning and then we went to, they're having the uh, fair this weekend and then they're also having citywide yard sales. Um, so we went to the fair um, and saw the goats. Um, some friends of ours, like um, their daughters are doing 4-H and they're doing like goats and stuff. So we went and we saw the goats and we got to pet the goats and um, and stuff. So. And then we went out to lunch with grandma and then we did a few yard sales. I didn't really get a whole lot. I did find this really pretty runner doily thing. I think it's really pretty. I love the stuff like this. I really like this. I'm going to wash it. It smells really musty though. Um, but 
I got that for my fireplace because I think that would be really cute. And then I got this. Ain't that neat? It's like um, pottery. It says USA 10G5 maybe? I don't know. I just thought it was really pretty and really neat. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I just love the design in it. It's just really pretty. Um, and then I also found this really cool little American flag star pin. I'm going to put this, I think I'm going to put this on my backpack. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do with that. I thought it was cute. So, um, and then I got a bunch of batten and I got my hu husband um, a new uh, grill set because he doesn't have a grill set. Or, and the one we had kind of went bad and... We've been needing a new one, so I found one at a yard sale, and it, it's really nice, and fully intact and everything. Anyways, so, I got some bookish mail. First thing, I was not expecting this today. I ordered this from, um, Fiction Stitches, I think, or... I love it. It's so pretty. Uh... Fiction, fic, fiction Stitches, I think it's called. I don't know. I'll try to link it down below. But they did a Night Court, Throne of Glass, Crescent City crossover um, design. And I think it's gorgeous. And it's, it's so pretty. It's, oh, so pretty. Love it. So I did get that today. I was not expecting this at all today. But it is beautiful I love it um I yeah when they did a pre uh, pre-order pre-sale for this I'm like yes please because it's like three Sarah J Mass books rolled into one and I love it um so I got that today which I was not expecting but this one I knew was coming today. This is my Iron and Ink monthly pin. I am a part of their monthly pin club um, because I love their pins. And I believe this should be, yes, this is the Aurora Burnin one. And oh, it's got even little stars in there. That's so neat. Let me pull it out of the package. without bringing out the stars. Burn it all away. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. It is so pretty. And then it has the oh the washi tape is so cute too. It's even it's got like star space theme for the washi tape. Perfect. Perfection there. Come on. And then it'll come out. Oh. And then it says we got mischief to make. Is that like the spaceship? And then on the back, it just says July 20, and then Iron and Ink. That's so cool. So that was their monthly July pin, enamel pin of the month. Um, so I don't really have anything else to say. There's two more yard sales later on tonight that we're going to go to. One of them says they have bikes, so I'm looking for a bike for my youngest. So let's hope they have bikes. Um, so hopefully they don't get rained out. It rained a little bit, but it looks like it's clearing up. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I'm going to go and I will check with you guys later. Bye guys. What do you think, North Dakota? I say big, you say. All right. He goes too big, he'll be over on his, on his lid.
like they shut it down, said I was in harm's way. So thank you for my safety. In the old days, I would go underneath them and grab onto the drivelines and be drunk around as a slut. anymore this is just good old-fashioned fun you know smashing them down especially when Ghost Rider hit this sucker here he went sideways cross-threaded it that Hyundai went to heaven right there in front of us I think if you have sensitive ears plug them if you want to test your eardrums don't I'm gonna set down my little notepad and plug my ears Cover my skullet so it doesn't get burned or singed. Rick Curcio from Victorville, California. Been doing this a long time. You've seen him on Nash Bridges, Monster Truck Stunt Shows, a ton of tapes, a ton of magazines. Been around motorsports for 40 years, folks. Make some noise.
Don't think they shut him off, but they slams down in the electrical. He's going to read fire. Champion!